What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Mobile Legends Adventure, and today we're back on the Lights Army account. We got some stuff to do, and that is we can upgrade yet another character, which should give us even more progression. We're up to 46,000 advanced essence. That is going to be very smooth. Now you'll notice my uh, my, my soul meteors and everything my, have kind of depleted everything but my regular soul shards, and that is because I got our girl Tia up to 27 so far so that's not bad our soul vessel is good to go um yeah we got our skin i really 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 like this skin like one of my new favorite skins now we got that going but we need to pick our next hero and since the two others we have to level are kagura and odette i'd say the winner is most definitely odette now we're keeping her soul vessel at uh 20 just because we don't have that much sleep synergy right now eventually we'll probably have lila or something like that we'll see but i think she's gonna be the pick hopefully this damage is the big difference maker let's get her all the way leveled up we should have enough resources yes we do all right so level three with that that is nice and spicy so that probably means progress is coming. So let's just take a look. We do have a ton of resources. We could enhance this one to level 10 just because, I mean, it might be a smart move. We kind of use Freya. Maybe we should do that one. We're already yours. Yeah, yours need the uh, the soul cores, right? If I could just click. Yeah, they need the, she needs a soul core, so that's a no there. We got you to 10. Um, we don't really use Chang just yet. We should probably level this up. You're gonna be the next one we pick. All right, let's just spam carry up here. We'll get hers to level 10. We just got so many of them. It's like, why not just get them all leveled up to 10? It might as well, right? It doesn't hurt to have them to level 10. Argus, I don't really use that much. Uh, Angela either, we'll have to see. Gavana, we can't even unlock it just yet, so that's on hold. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this will help us a bit. I mean, it's not a ton, but reducing the agility is good, but we're also giving ourselves more stats, so... Sure. Might as well upgrade everybody to 10 that can use it. There's really no point waiting and not doing it, right? I mean, we should probably even do it here. Double damage boost? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't even put Orlay on him. So, that is good. Uh, I haven't done Labyrinth yet. Not sure if we're going to do that right now. What do we have in Temple? Uh, we'll save up for a 3,000 pull there. So, in our Temple, Gallery of Valor. Uh, I'm kind of taking Mage to 15 next just because we have so many Mages. I mean, as you see, like most of the heroes on our account are Mages compared to everything else. Even like Support, we don't have that many Supporters. Probably have more tanks in reality than supporters, but Lunox is a good buff. Uh, guild, we're, ooh, guild party. Oh, we got our party. Oh, yeah, let's start the party. Get that going. Play them all. Good, good, good. Um, okay. Okay, Wishing Fountain, we're still kind of waiting. We're not really doing any summons here right now. I think it's literally the big thing we got to do today is see if we can push in campaign finally now. And... Maybe tower. We'll have to see. We have been stuck on this level, so I'm hoping these upgrades worked. I already used my friend uh, request to beat a previous level, so I'm hoping the upgrades here make a difference. Odette is going to do more damage. This is already looking a lot better here. This is definitely better than our previous attempts. But we just couldn't keep up with Estee's healing was our problem. But with Odette leveled up now, she's dealing a ton more damage. Yes. Wow. Tia getting the godlike? Really? I don't know why you're getting the godlike. Look at that damage. That is what we're talking about. Oh, one more hero and then everybody on the account becomes level 250. I can't wait. I can't wait. We should wreck a lot of these levels. Let's see if we get stuck on anything here. I'd love to get to the end of the chapter, but at the end of the chapter, I don't know if I'm quite there yet. 
having two lineups that can actually, you know, perform. We'll see. Maybe we can. I don't know. We're going to have to split our DPS up, split our tanking up. It's going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting here. All right. So on to 33. I think there's, what, 45 levels in this chapter? Oh, these double team fights, they're going to get difficult, I feel like. Overall, our mages are just wrecking house right here. Odette Power Cannon is so true. And I know chapter 43-45 is where a lot of people get stuck. I know that too because on my friends list, everybody seems to be stuck there. But dang, oh, this is not a good combo. This might be one we need to change up what we're doing here. All right, so... Let's take you out. Let's throw in another tank here. Let's go down to two times speed. Watch the fight. See what's happening. But dang is just such a pain. Ooh, she's asleep. We got to keep her from using her active. Looks like she's going to. Oh, no. Odette's not going to stay alive, is she? No, she does go down. Mm, interesting, interesting. So what if we do something more like this? Let's pull our tanks back a bit so they're all more lined up, sharing the damage so they don't go down as fast. Freya does jump into the back. This active is what's wrecking us, though. I mean, maybe? Maybe we have a chance here? Come on, another active ability. Oh, but dang, is too strong. <laughs> Why is it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, she already proc, didn't she? Oh, that was so close. I think this can work. Let's see if we push her all the way to the top so maybe she doesn't get hit by the AoE. We just need to take her out so fast, and that's the biggest problem here. Luckily, she comes up and gives us a heal. Odette is going to fall. No, we need Odette to get one more active off. That has to happen. That's literally the only way this is going to work. And she just gets one tapped. Good lord. Okay, so who else could we try? Freya's not really doing what we want. Um, we could throw in someone like... Yeah, some invulnerability. Buying us some time for more actives, potentially. Might be better than Freya. Oh no, she already got her active off. We did get some good healing though, so that this actually might work. Come on, Odette, big damage. Not enough damage from the Odette. Oh man, oh man, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. We can do it though. I feel like with the right synergies here, the right lineup order, let's actually throw Gavana in. Put her in the back row here. Let's bring her up because maybe Gavana can live against Bedang with her invulnerability here and there. The basic attacks could work. Come on, Odette. Get to another active. Get to another active, Odette. We need this big damage right here. Yes, yes, yes. Go, 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 go. <gasps> Gavana was the key to live against the Bedang. Now, I don't imagine this Bedang is going to 1v4 us, but you never know. He's pretty crazy. Just such a crazy hero in these campaign levels. All right, so we beat that level. Oh, and then we go right into a boss level. Let's see if what we already have set up will work. I don't know. Let's go to four times speed. Vana dodging or really invincible to a lot, but taking a lot of damage here. I think we swap her back out for the Freya now and see how this way works. Freya's definitely tankier. Yep, <laughs> definitely tankier. We're going to get a heal. That's nice. We're getting actives off. Yeah, that's a lot better. The Freya jump into their back line, and plus she's just so much tankier than Gavana. Gavana's just good if she's taking a lot of basic attacks. She can just, you know, invulnerable through majority of them and just keep living. Freya melted there, so that's not great. But... The, the combo, the healing combo between Lunox and our Uranus is doing really, really good. Hopefully we can just get through a lot. Yeah, look at that healing combo. They just keep each other going. 
Freya is more or less just a distraction on this account. Like, that's literally all Freya is, is tank some damage, jump to the back line, buy some time for our mages to get some damage off, and then it just works out nice and perfectly. Uh, our mages are dead. That's not a good sign. Um, Yeah, they do have a Freya. What if we change back to a Kagura so we have more damage to maybe burst down that Freya? Looks like that's a good answer. Yeah, more damage on this one is definitely key. Just burst them down before they have time to jump to the back line and kill off our supports. Or not even our supports, our mages, our damage dealers. We'll keep her in, but there is a Bedang, so we might want to put Gavana back in. We're going to have to see how this works out. There's a lot of damage. Oh, my God. Every time. It comes down to the same scenario when this hero is in the game. So, Gavana, where are you? Where are you, Gavana? All right, let's put you up here and see how this works out. She completely melted. <laughs> she absolutely got shredded. All right, we can try Freya, maybe. Maybe Freya will be the addition we need on here. Besides that, I don't know. Oh my goodness, Freya melting. Lunox melting. Everybody proccing their cheat deaths and everything. Oh my god. I think we might need the last hero to level 250 to get this one done. So Freya's not the answer. I mean, we could try that, maybe. He's already procced. Oh my god, but it might give Lunox enough time and... No, not really. Not really. We're gonna have to figure something out for this one. This one is most definitely going to be a tough fight. I just, I don't think I have a hero combo that's going to win at the moment. Not with them CCing the back row here. That's the worst part. Just don't have enough damage. We can't race them. It's so close, but we just can't. That was actually one of the closest attempts. What if I just throw the Odette closer to the front? Since she gets CC'd anyway... Keep her other heroes a little more safe in the back row. That could work. That could work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take you out, throw our Kagura back in. Oh, wait, I wanted to put you in the back row. Whoops. Uh, maybe it's enough to burst down some heroes. Yes, it's actually working kind of good. Kind of. Need to change the setup a little bit. All right, last try. We'll try one more time. We'll push you to the back. Odette, you, yeah, I mean, Odette, you're just getting CC'd every time, so it doesn't really matter what you're doing. Gagura's definitely helping burst down individual heroes. Odette still gets one active off, which is nice. Just not quite enough. Like, we're so, so close. One last attempt. Maybe with that same setup, it'll still work. Let's throw the Lunox to the top row there against the Bedang. That way... We get a little bit more survivability for our heroes in the back here. Oh, Bedang's down. But there's still way too many people alive. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. <laughs> yes. Oh, man, that was awesome. All right, let's keep going. That was the perfect change right there. So much can change just by changing the position of heroes. Position matters so much. I think we can win this one. We still have a proc, right? And then we're going to get a heal. We should win. They don't have damage to beat us. They got a tank and a healer. That's gonna not going to be a Lunox. Sorry, not going to happen. All right, let's keep going. Oh, are we going to get to 43, 45 today? Now, we're probably not going to do that one in this video. We're going to save that for a separate video. Because it's a pretty intense level, to say the least. Yeah, I love the Tia Lunox combo. It's such a good synergy, just buying time for each other. That's why I'm kind of thinking Amaterasu would be a kind of cool hero to build on this with those heroes because that's another like invulnerability that would buy us more time as well, which is kind of cool. The more time you can buy for more Lunox revives, the better you're going to be for your account, I feel like. 
This one shouldn't be a problem, although there's a lot of burst about to come in. Doesn't matter. We killed them off. Even with the SDs, they couldn't keep them alive long enough. We just have so much damage. So much. Honestly, upgrading that those soul vessels, especially the one on uh, Uranus, might have been a huge, huge deal. Those healing combos back and forth between the tank and the support. It's amazing. All right, here we go. <sighs> this is the boss fight, so you got to beat this one into that one. We're going to save it for next time. So, a lot of progress right there. Really good. We're going to get this done. I feel like we got a chance. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. All thanks to the upgrades to our Odette. This girl is awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you got friends playing Mobile League, Mobile, Mobile Legends Adventure. There we go. Wrong, wrong name at first. Make sure you tell them to come by. Visit the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.